Hi guys! I know it's been like a week but like I had my first week of school and it was really really crazy and I mean technically I did upload a video. I'm gonna tell you all about it later. I'm really excited. Today I'm free. It's a Saturday. I'm getting ready so I was like why not talk to y'all and update y'all on what's been happening. I've already done my base. I am gonna show you what I used. This is Espoir's Nude Dewy Cushion um, in the shade 10. It's just like Lol this. For concealer, I'm using um, Collections Lasting Perfection Concealer. I started using Light 2 for my under eyes and then uh, Warm Medium 3 for like pimps and scars and all that. So, not pimps, like, you know what I mean. You know what, like pimples. Yeah. I'm going to be using um, Browlash EX Water Strong. Yeah, let me tell you about school. School's great. I have been loving school. Okay, let's pause on the eyebrows. I need to properly talk to you guys about this. If um, you guys have not been like catching up on my blog, or if you don't know my situation in general, I had a really tough first year in uni because I didn't know what I wanted to major in. I came in wanting to major in political science and philosophy. But then, I never got to take philosophy in the end because it always clashed with my timetable and I never found it important enough for me to take it in spite of the other thing that it clashed with because it clashed with Paul Science and I went with Paul Science because I thought I wanted to do Paul Science. And then when I took it in the first semester, I started hating it. I didn't like the environment that I was in, first of all. I also felt really stupid because I didn't catch up on like the jargon and I didn't really do my readings that well. I, I didn't want to. Um, I, I could have continued to do well in it because I didn't do so poorly but I just, I didn't enjoy myself and what's the point of doing something that you don't enjoy? I tried out communications and new media in my second semester and I thought like, oh yeah, this makes sense because it's like artsy but still like really useful. Uh, no. <laughs> Nothing against comms but I just felt bad because why am I doing comms in NUS when I know that NTU does comms in a way that would be better for me because it's more practical work and it's more specialised in traditional media which would be what I want to do. I've heard from people that NUS comms can get quite dry and quite like theoretical and that wasn't what I was going for. But then after that I kind of like, you know, thought about it and was like, well I didn't go to NTU for a reason. I could have if I wanted to but I didn't so that saying something. It just came to a point where I didn't know what I wanted to major in and then I kind of just looked at everything I had on the table. Uh, you're only allowed to major in like things that you've taken modules for. I'd only taken a few. Philosophy was definitely out. Yeah, I never got a chance to take it. <laughs> Another option was sociology. So I was just stuck with a bunch of subjects, I guess, that I could do well in and I could like but I didn't thoroughly enjoy and feel passionate about so I started getting very depressed and um, also I had to juggle a relationship and I had to juggle new relationships with people that I meet in school and it was kind of difficult. Towards the end, I bumped into my old friend. Uh, her name is Shu. We were classmates in upper sex. So I bumped into her, we started talking and she told me like what module she was taking and I was like that sounds awesome. That sounds like the dream. Why am I not doing that? We're in the same school and the same faculty. Why is my experience of school so different from hers? I started to realise that she was doing things that she liked and she didn't really worry about what was coming after. I was thinking of getting a degree in terms of job prospects. So I wanted to do diplomacy at first and then I wanted to be like a creative um, director, a designer something creative so I thought like you know communications but at the end of the day I did theatre for two years in JC and even though that was really really tough I really truly loved it it was something that was so different so special and it combined all of literally all of the interests I have like music and art and um, writing and like reading it's just everything I could possibly love is in theatre I kind of looked at her for a while and I kind of got it after that so that was my like great epiphany. I talked to my friend who also stays where I do. His name is Shankai. Hi, he's probably watching this. He was telling me about his modules and I was like damn like that's what I want to do. I get so excited hearing about what he's doing so I it kind of like 
you know, I, I couldn't deny it any longer. I am a theatre kid. I, I belong in LT13. <laughs> Ever since then, I wouldn't say resigned to fate, but I've kind of accepted myself for who I am. Uh, I was really, really worried because I knew that my parents would be supportive of anything that I did, but I also knew that they would have liked me to do something more lucrative. So, okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. <sighs> I, I, I need a mirror because I can't... My mirror is there, but it's like so far, I have to pull it in. If I pull it in, you can't see me, so... So, I, I had to kind of talk to my parents about it. My parents have always trusted me with whatever I'm doing and whatever I'm studying. And they didn't really, uh, if I made my own choices about what I'm studying, like what subjects I'm doing, and what I wanted to do in the future. We were in the car, my mom and my dad were obviously in the front seat, I was in the back. All of a sudden, my... I think it was my mom or my... My mom? I think it was my mom. She suddenly went, Oh, so by the way, what are you majoring in? <laughs> And like, this was like, I think two or three days after I decided, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do theatre studies. And so I, I just kind of like, mm, uh, uh, I'm gonna do uh, theatre. <laughs> I was so nervous. I was literally sitting like with my hands under my, my thighs and like just shaking. I felt like I was like coming out to my parents. Seriously, it was so scary. Thankfully enough, they just kind of went, oh, okay. You know what? Just go for it. Be the best you can at it. And you know, like, yeah. And they started like discussing like various actual career positions and like stuff lah. And I was like, uh, 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 yeah, okay. I'm just, I'm just really happy that they're okay with it, honestly. Ever since then, I have been quite adamant in my like pursuit of my my degree, I guess. I've been really excited and I've been planning my mods and stuff and this is the first time I felt excited about university. There are so many exciting things waiting for me and I'm so happy that's the case. I'm going to set my face with powder now. I'm using Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder? Transparent. Mm -hmm. And I'm using Elf's Complexion Brush. My first week of school has been amazing. Everyone has been laughing at me because everyone dreads the first week of school. But I have been on time for every single lecture and lesson and that is something new because if you know me, you know that I'm always late. But yeah, I've, I've really been trying to kick that habit and so far I've been doing pretty well but the thing is, when you are so often late and everyone expects you to be late, everyone just automatically shows up like half an hour later so I've had to wait for people for half an hour every single time because I am so punctual. It's really ironic, but you know, I feel like I'm like, you know, serving my penance. I don't really feel bad about it. And it's fun when you don't have to rush, you know. All of my lessons have been really interesting. I also um, get to meet a lot of people that I've worked with before. So my professors and professors and my facilitators and my trainers, uh, lecturers, they're all people that I know and I've worked with before. So I feel like I'm really like at home. I'm almost angry at myself for not figuring this out sooner. But if there's anything I've learned um, this first year in university, is that firstly it's okay to make mistakes secondly it's okay to spend time knowing what you don't want to do if not you'll always have like a what if you know like what if I pursued this instead it feels comforting to me that I now know that none of these other options would have worked out for me if I had just solely gone with theatre the whole time all the way I'd still always wonder so in in, in that way I, I don't feel bad I'm going to catch a theatre show <laughs> with my best friend, um, Sarah. We are going to a Sifa event. It's called The Last Supper. I think it's in Arabic with English subtitles and it's really kind of cool. I'm really excited about it. I might go a little more avant-garde and a bit more bold with my makeup today. Okay, not avant-garde lah. How bold? Uh, I'm wearing a red, red-ish dress. It's kind of a burgundy knit dress. I brought my palette here because I hardly use it. This is a Marc Jacobs palette and it's called the Lolita and it's a really 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 beautiful palette. Uh, yeah it's a really beautiful palette. The clasp doesn't work anymore. I you can see from like its untouchedness that I really rarely use it. I think I've used it like twice. It's just annoying because 
you know, you pay so much money and then it's like the class doesn't work. Like, what do you want me to do? I'm going to go in with this colour. It's a very like light tone neutral brown. I think only like one or two shades darker than my skin tone. I'm gonna contour my nose. So yeah, how has your first week of school been if you're just starting uni? I know a lot of people in university watch me all like, oh, it's been so fun. It's very flattering, but it's also really exciting because like, I always think that it's always my friends and my parents watching my videos. So when someone like, I don't know comes out and tells me that they watch my videos, I feel like this instant like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean. So, um, I, I really appreciate everyone that's come up to me. I know that there, were, there were two girls at Foot Click that were really, really cute and when I was getting dim sum some more. So, um, hi if you're watching, thank you for saying hi. Sometimes I'm like really awkward and really, like I don't know what to say afterwards but then like, I'm very happy lah, I'm very happy that you guys say hi so yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> Hey, this contour looks pretty good. Maybe I should use this to contour more often. I'm gonna use this lightest color here and then with a shader brush, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners. My eyebrows are screwed up. Oh no. I think it's because I really can't see. Okay, thing is, I'm not wearing contacts. And I'm not wearing my glasses because obviously I can't wear my glasses when I'm doing my makeup lah, huh? So yeah, I'm just, I'm half blind constantly. Um, if people walk past me in school and I'm not wearing my glasses, chances are I'm not wearing contacts also because they get really dry on me so I only wear them like super rarely. Yeah, if I don't say hi to you, it's because I can't see you. So don't be afraid to grab me by my shoulders or like come straight to my face like this close and be like hello because then, then I'll see you. I've worn glasses since I was three, so I've really never lived a life where I didn't wear glasses. And up until very recently, I've always worn them on my face. But then, now that I'm vain and now that I'm wearing makeup, I want people to see how nice my makeup is, okay? I put so much effort into doing it, so... Yeah, I don't wear glasses. <laughs> I just like to wear makeup whenever I can and I like to do a good job of it. So like, when I do wear makeup, I want to go like full glam, you know? Like, I want to do everything. I don't just want to like have like eyeliner and call it a day because you know it's fun it's really fun and to be fair <laughs> it gets me out of bed in the morning really it does i'm always excited to try new things i'm like ooh, what do i want to do today you know it's just like a fun side thing i'm gonna use this darker shade here and i'm just gonna very slowly put this in my crease am i doing a cut crease today that's pretty exciting i don't usually do cut creases Ooh, it looks good. Gonna once again take this shader brush, dip a little bit of that lighter brown, and then sweep, sweep, sweep. By the way, today was the Olympic finals for the 100 meter butterfly event. As you guys know, Joe Schooling is one of the swimmers. And as you guys probably know by now, he won. My god. My beat Michael Phelps aka his idol that's oh, I followed a story for a really long time and I'm just so happy for him and I'm so proud I guess because he represents us right and he's like a real Singaporean yeah I just I just I don't know I've watched the interviews with his parents and talking about him and how supportive they are and it just makes me so happy there's something about the Olympics where Everyone there is so extraordinary and everyone there is living the greatest moment of their life. So I don't know, I I don't follow the Olympics that well. Joe Schooling I guess is the only one that matters at this point and I followed it and I was like damn. <laughs> oh which reminds me, <sighs> though I have nothing in comparison to Joe Schooling. Uh, gotta tell you guys about the Beauty Bound update. You guys saw the entry video that I sent in, right? And everyone was like, good luck, thank you, thank you for saying that. Um, I got in! <sighs> we're going to go on this like beauty boot camp. We're gonna like film a lot of stuff and we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna meet the other seven people, which I'm really excited about. I, 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 I didn't expect it. I hoped, but I didn't think that I would, you know, because I am just like a child. 
from everyone's probably gonna be like really glamorous and really like you know hot stuff you know and I'm just like oh. <laughs> I'm really excited I don't know I feel a little nervous though because they told us to bring all of our filming equipment and um <laughs> Like our tripod and stuff and I gotta tell you my tripod is the shittiest tripod anyone has ever seen I bought it for like 30 40 dollars at Challenger and like within three days it's spoiled <laughs> and so I'm using a spoiled like tripod and um, the screws are loose so it doesn't really and I'm using like a stack of books to balance it now like okay I'm gonna take a photo with my phone and I'm gonna put it in this video because it's so funny Okay, I'll insert a photo. This is the situation I have to deal with in order to get this particular angle. Um, so I really hope that people won't judge me for being as wretched as this. Man, this video is taking so long. But I take damn long to get ready, especially when I'm not rushing. First of all, I talk a lot. Second of all, I don't multitask very well, so when I talk a lot, I don't do stuff. And also, I guess just because like I can afford to take my time, finally, in the whole of this week, I am going to add a bit of shimmer shimmer to my bottom bottom lids. Technically these are not lids but you know, my bottom eye, under eye, under eye, under eye. This shimmer colour, it looks super shimmery. See it? Yeah. And then probably this and this, a combination of this both, the darker colours for the outer edge. I think it adds a little sparkle to my life, you know? I am aware that this may look slightly washed out, but this is how it looks. Um, now, moving on finally, oh, past the eyeshadow, I am going to use my Innisfree Mineral Shading in 08. This is the one that I usually use. I've already had a dent in it, which I'm quite proud of. I'm gonna use the Naked Flush palette now. Uh, I don't think it's worth the price. <laughs> Because these are colours that are quite normal that you can find in other palettes. Unless you are the kind that only uses these three in particular every day, I'd say skip it. But yeah, I'm going to use it because I bought it and I want to use it. So I'm just going to use this contour thing to just kind of buff out my contour first, make it slightly softer. And then I'm going to hit the pink. It's like super pigmented though, so you need like just the tiniest bit. I used to not like blush or really care about blush. Last time, it was always eyeliner and eyebrows. Eyeliner and eyebrows, that was all I needed. And maybe like a tinted lip balm. But then now, I'm all about the blush and all about the highlight. So that has been fun. Speaking of highlight, let's hit my face with the highlight that's in this palette. Do you see that glow though? Have not. Don't have. I put more. People will be asking me, why are you such a grease ball? I'm like, no, 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 I'm a shining star. Okay, I'm now going to use my finger. And then right on the tip of the nose. Just one tiny, you see it? Yeah. For my lips, I kind of want to do the dark lip, but then I don't want to go too crazy with like the whole dark, dark lip because I can't commit to the dark lip because it's daytime. So I'm going to go with something quite sheer. This is the Sugar Plum Fresh Lip Treatment, tinted lip treatment. I knew that. It looks like I don't have anything on, but it does feel quite moisturizing and there is a slight color. Or maybe I should go with this instead. This is Innisfree Innisfree's Color Glow Lipstick. Just applying a little bit of it on and then I'm just gonna blend it in. There we go, yeah that looks good. Alright, so after doing my lips, I start to realise after looking at my face that Oh! I forgot to apply eyeliner and mascara. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna go back in with the Marc Jacobs palette, pick up the darkest colour and run it on my lash line. I'm going to just use my Colourpop's uh, liner in... I don't know why this is the black one. The, the shiny thing rubbed off, just very lightly gonna run it on my tight line. I'm gonna go in with the Sigma's Monumental Lash. I'm not gonna curl my eyelashes. With this mascara, it helps me curl my lashes anyway, so... So 
this completes my look and thank you for joining me on this chatty get ready with me. If you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel right here or down below and you can be the first one to catch my videos. I don't have an uploading schedule. I upload as and when I am able to so if you subscribe to me, you'll always be notified when I do make one so that will be cool. Leave a comment down below what you like to see next if you want to see 50 random facts about me, because that would be fun. And if you like more chatty, get ready with me. Uh, yeah. Okay, bye! <laughs> Hi guys! I'm, I'm back! <laughs> Today, it's going to be my Jul July? Is, yeah, July favourite! Just before I jump into the video, I really want to thank each and every one